Hello, and welcome back to Storyline Recap. Today, I'm going to explain an romance drama movie from 2018 called, Midnight Sun. Spoilers ahead, watch out and enjoy. The film starts with a little kid who lives in a house with her dad in someplace in Washington state. She goes by Katie Price, and she has xeroderma pigmentosum which is an interesting illness that drives her to avoid the daylight cause sunbeams can make seriously harm her skin. There's a gathering of children beyond Katie's home pointing at her window saying she's a vampire that never emerges during the daytime. The next thing we see is a little youngster named Charlie coasting by on his skateboard. The storyteller discusses how she has eyes for Charlie who she's never met. One of the little youngsters thumps on Katie's entryway, and her dad says she can't come to join the party cause it's daytime, yet this young lady whose name is Morgan requests to see her and says she'll be back later. Morgan turns into Katie's dearest companion. Quick forward to introduce the day and young Katie is moving on from secondary school, just she's been self-taught. Her father gives her a present, and it's a guitar from Katie's mother who we find out kicked the bucket when Katie was extremely youthful. Katie implores her father to release her down to the nearby train station and play the guitar once the sun goes down. Around evening time Katie can branch out and do anything like an ordinary individual. As she's playing the guitar at the train station Charlie sees her and is struck by her singing. He goes up to converse with her, and she blows a gasket with nerves and gets together her guitar, and runs back home, coincidentally abandoning her diary. Charlie inquires as to whether she knows who Katie is and Morgan sorts out for Katie to get her diary at the train station the following night from the station supervisor. Just rather Charlie is there with the diary to astonish her. She's apprehensive once more, yet he persuades her to head back home and converse with him. A couple of days after the fact, Katie texts Charlie welcoming him to a party at Morgan's associate's home. The party ends up faltering so Charlie being a cool youngster welcomes them over to another party that is pressed. Charlie is being hit on by one more young lady at the party, however, it's unmistakable he prefers Katie, and they dance, and in the long run, he welcomes her to take a walk where they share their most memorable kiss on a boat that Charlie is entrusted with keeping up for the mid-year. We then see them on a progression of dates around evening time because while Katie has not told Charlie of her condition, she ceaselessly says I'm in the middle of during the days however can emerge around evening time. Charlie takes Katie on an unexpected train ride date, and they go to Seattle where they see a show and stroll around the city. Charlie makes Katie play a tune at the dock, and a group assembles to watch her. They take the train back home and swim in the night water. While laying near the ocean, Charlie says prepare for the most lovely dawn. Katie takes a look at her watch and understands that it's parted from the water and that the sun is practically coming up. She goes crazy and starts running home. Charlie in the end gets up to speed to her in his truck and drives as she's shouting for him to hustle. He pulls up to the house and as she's running in the sun has risen and radiated on her for a couple of moments. Morgan and Katie's father show up at the house simultaneously, and Morgan tells a confounded Charlie that Katie has XP. Katie goes to a specialist and is informed that her mind is contracting because of the sun's openness and she's beginning to get jerks. She won't accept Charlie's call, and he is shown exploring XP. Charlie has a major swim meet to acquire a grant during this time and is persuaded by Katie telling him not to abandon his swimming. Charlie is welcomed over to the house by Katie's father, and they accommodate him even though she attempts to say a final farewell to his reason for her condition. Katie lets Charlie know that she's watched him outside her window for a long time and how she generally cherished him. On another of their dates, Charlie takes Katie to a recording studio where he's employed performers to help her record a tune she composed called Charlie's Song. She records it even though she's getting more debilitated and more vulnerable. Charlie transfers the melody on YouTube. Not long after Charlie says he will tidy up the boat one final time before the proprietors get back and Katie implores her father to release her cruising around the harbor with Charlie, even though the daylight is out. It's reasonable now she is kicking the bucket, and this is her final request. They go cruising, and we see flashbacks of their sentiment. In the following scene is Morgan, Charlie, and Katie's father spread her remains in the water where she used to play guitar with her mother. Charlie is then shown going to Berkeley for school and to swim when he hears Charlie's song playing on the radio. We're informed it has 2 million YouTube sees. Charlie texts Katie's father who plays the melody for his entire office. Charlie pulls over as the melody is playing and peruses the last letter Katie thought of him in her diary that she left for him, proclaiming her appreciation and love for him. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and hit the like button to help the channel out. See ya!